can opposite gender friendships really be just platonic? Today, we're not gonna lie. Welcome everybody to a new episode of NGL where we have real conversations about everything in life. And today we're going to have a very juicy conversation because we are here to discuss whether we think opposite gender friendships can really be just platonic. So to join mm. us for our discussion today, we have Zelani and Wei Xuan. Hello! Wow, I'm so excited because we were having a discussion before we filmed this episode, right? And a lot of juicy stories came out. So we're going to hear a lot more from them later. <laughs> but to begin with, right, let me share a little bit about what I've been reading, okay? Mm. So I came across this article where they did a study with 88 undergrad students in the US. And they actually have very, very interesting findings. So basically, this study was to find out more about the friendships between men and women mm. and what they think of each other. So in the study, right, their results show that men tend to overestimate the attraction felt by their female friends and women tend to underestimate the attraction felt by their male oh. friends. So what this means is that most of the time, men think that their female friends are attracted to them. Women don't think that their <laughs> male friends are attracted to them. Oh. But interestingly, what we go on to find out, right, also is that with this like perceived mutual attraction, men actually will begin to take steps, right, to pursue their female friends. Which means uh, in this situation, right, let's say your two are friends, right? Zelani is just happily Clueless. enjoying a friendship with Wei Xuan, thinking that like, wow, Wei Xuan is such a good friend. Wei Xuan always buys me food when He's I'm sick, there. right? And yeah. then Wei Xuan is thinking about like, how do I make my move? How do I tell Zelani that I like her? So <laughs> we're in for a treat today because we're going to talk about how guys and girls think about this, okay? So maybe it's for starters, right why don't y'all tell us what do you think do you think that men and women right can really be just friends Zelani you can go first okay so my short answer to that is yes but as long as we don't share emo stuff huh so mm. like I have like guy friends uh. um that I will meet up joke around talk trash uh, share memes, talk about anime and stuff like that, right? But I don't think we will like go deep into mm. like uh, sharing about if that like something bad happened in in my life, right? Like they, yeah, they probably aren't like the first few people that I would mm. like go to to share. They're not like top of mind. So yeah, I think if like there's no emo like stuff and no conversations that are happening two a.m. onwards kind of thing, right? Yeah, two a.m. onwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing good happens after two a.m. Yeah. So do you, y'all can be close without sharing? about your life? Um, so I think we share in a catch up sort of sense. So what? like when like something happens like in real time, right? Ah, like I don't, okay. uh, yeah, we don't like talk about it with each other, okay. like immediately. It's not like, oh, like, you know, hey, want to go for a drink? I'm feeling like a bit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it's like, oh, okay, like I'm coming over now kind of okay. thing. But it's like whenever we meet, like, we'll schedule like the meetup, maybe like three months in advance because mm. everybody very busy now, right? Yeah, and usually it's in a group also. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so your your take is Ken lah, but without that deep emotional deep connection. Deep emotion, maybe exclusive one on one, like time together. Okay. Yes. Okay. We share what about you? Okay. Given you're the only guy on our panel. So, yes. So for me, right? Okay, I think it's something quite similar to Zelmi, but at the same time, a bit different. So okay. Mm. So just to share a bit of context, right? Is that um okay? So basically, since young, right? Okay, I have a lot of female friends because mm. I feel that female friends are able to relate to you more emotionally. Like instead mm. of just asking, like 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 when you share your problems to them, right? Instead of just them like, oh okay lah, uh, yeah, bro, la, you know, yeah, shack bro, or like, <laughs> okay, bro. Let's, let's let's go play ML and then let's rank up and then you know let's get over yeah. you, you know, that, that kind of thing like like they target your issue and they tend to like be more concerned for you so like they'll ask hey how are you you know after you yeah, share problems yeah, yeah. and stuff so yeah. emotionally wise right I think even guys have that as well you feel and that support la. correct mm. and we need to like feel like um, like we have that need as well like, and we want to be met you know and, and and that is why for me I tend to have more close female friends because like um, they can really help me to process my emotions and stuff as I share to them right and, and stuff right okay uh, like it's like we can be close to a point whereby like um we will actually discuss caught then we can have like midnight marathon talks about wait things. wait what does that mean what's what a midnight, midnight marathon talk midnight marathon it's like it's, it's, it's like you can go on discord and then after that you can just talk through the night while right? playing game or no, no game ah? no, just, just, no talk? Game. Oh, just stay at one and I just talk <gasps> and then stuff. until yeah. what time until like 5 6 7 also can I mean, dude and you're just six. friends uh, yeah 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 wait you talk through the whole night 
Yeah, because we got like like when we start sharing stuff and then we we'll share to one another. So we will talk even like a uh, very deep uh like intimate conversation. Like let's say okay, not not intimate. <laughs> I so, feel like, so deep uncomfortable. Conversation. <laughs> no, like like deep conversation is like uh how we really feel. You know yeah, about yeah. a lot of different topics in life and stuff. Then we are very comfortable to share like, insecurities with one another. Yeah. So I think this is this is this is the whole setup because platonic friendship, ma. Right. So you need to have certain closeness and connection. With the yes. Person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. that's when it comes right whereby um. As so I you go, got a lot of girlfriends. Um, okay, girls oh, girls girls for okay. And then you no, will no. schedule Discord with them different night, like, different days. No la, I won't schedule Discord conversation. <laughs> Monday, <but> Xiao Mei, <laughs> no. Tuesday, Xiao Hua. No, in with every season, right, there will always one. be like, one. Wow. So in no, it's in every season you will tend to be closer to this like Xiao Mei. You know? <laughs> and then the season you're close to Xiao Hua. You know? Xiao Hua. Yeah. So then different Xiao season you meet different friends and then you will talk and stuff lah, right? Because sometimes mm. got fatigue one you cannot every day you know. Okay, I see I'm a playboy but I'm not okay. So, so it's just like you just click off. Huh? Just kick off you know. And this was very long ago lah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So wait, wait how long? <laughs> No, no, Last no, month. No, it was, it was some time already. Okay, so I just uh, explained that. Okay, hey, actually my life is, is quite pure, okay? So um, I'm very accountable one in a sense that, you know, like all the girls, right, who feel that I let them on, right, can comment now on the YouTube channel. Oh, whoa, 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 the floodgates okay, are open, kidding, guys. Kidding. Okay, anyways, right. Okay, so so nowadays I don't really do that as I start mm. to grow up. So that was more of like secondary school and like mm. poly times because I realized, right, that by engaging in intimate conversation, right, sometimes, right, um, I will be mes- misled. And sometimes I'll mislead girls as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So um and there are a lot of situations whereby like I, I can share later that you know we got into very some very awkward conversation or like awkward okay. situation. Yep, yep. You know, like very ambiguous, then we don't know what to do about it. After that, yeah. yeah. And then it harms the friendship. So as I grow up, I stop doing that. So my answer right to that question right, is more of like it is possible, but I also agree that there should be boundaries. But at the same time, um for me, right, I would say that it's really, really hard because when you have a platonic friendship with a female friend, right? You want to yeah. have that connectivity. So if mm. you if you don't share certain things like emotion stuff, right, then it's it's very hard to get connected. Mm. So I'll say it's really, really hard, but it's not like zero percent, maybe like zero point one percent or like one percent. Ah yeah, but but it's just like really hard. Uh. Okay. Uh Nata, how about you? I think yeah, I'm trying to think who I stand with more. I, I think in my own experience, I actually do have quite a lot of close guy friends and like growing up, like I've always been quite comfortable hanging out with guys. Maybe because I have an older brother. So like uh, since young, like I play with him and also like his friends always come over. Right. So like I'm very used to being around guys and in my mind, I don't even like actively see people as like guy friends, girlfriends. To yeah. me, it's just friends, right? So hmm. I like up till now, I do still have quite a lot of close guy friends that I've known for mm. a long time. Like I would be okay meeting them one-on-one mm. to catch up. Um, similar to Zelani in the sense that I don't think they are my go-to when like something happens to me, particularly also because I'm married now, right? So yeah. I tell my husband. Yeah. But also when we do meet, um, we catch up on quite real things. So, so it's not just like superficial conversations or even just like, like you know, um, life station updates but we do also talk about like how we feel yeah. about things how are things in um their family how are things in their relationship so quite quite real interaction yeah i would say um but along the years i think i have also come to realize that uh much like the study i cited i often have a different <laughs> view from my guy friends who i'm close to and uh there were quite a few times la, where what i thought was friendship was seen as something romantic Ooh. by my guy friend. So I think I was guilty of um, perhaps unintentionally leading some guys on because to me, I thought I was just- Unintentionally? Okay la, I mean, okay, some, some maybe slightly <laughs> unintentionally. I mean, no, okay, okay, some, some maybe I, I could tell, but just try and like act blur, live mm. longer. But there were some that sincerely to me, I really, really just being friend. Like, so when they oh. share stuff about their life, right? I ask more lah, because that's what a good friend normal does. good friend will do. Mm. Uh, if he's true, a girl, true. I will ask you more than if you're a so guy. To you, to me, you're not, just human lah. Regardless whether you're a guy or girl, yeah, you you're just a human la, being lah. Genuinely concerned. Correct, so I ask questions. But I think there were times where that was interpreted as like, a romantic like concern and romantic care which then I had to have a lot of like oh by the way like uh, I think we're just friends kind of conversations which was a bit weird lah so my my answer to that is I I feel Ken is Ken but a guy best friend right will be different from a girl best friend in the sense that like like with a girl best friend right maybe I might be more comfortable um, to spend a lot of one-on-one time with her. Mm. Maybe even things like with a girl best friend, like I would quite like 
unreservedly like hug her or or express my affection through some physical expressions, mm. right? Um, even things like being okay with a stay over. But I don't yeah. see myself doing that with a it's guy friend. Yeah. La, no matter how close we are, I think even if I was not married, I think there would be some boundaries put in place because to me, it's just different la, from a girlfriend trip. Mm. So yeah, I, I'm very curious at how you guys arrived at your stand. I'm sure it is because there were certain things that you experienced and went through, right? So we want to go to Zelani first because I think, mm-hmm. Zelani, you mentioned something very specific, which is no emotional connection, which I personally find very puzzling. Because to me, with friendship, I can't imagine a, a close friendship with no emotional connection. So in the guy friendships that you experienced, right, really got no emotional connection. Ah. Or like, what was that like for you growing up? Well, maybe now I realise I may not have any close oh, guy no. friends. Oh. Uh, I guess maybe, uh, okay, maybe to add to like emotional connection, I guess um, maybe I'm a bit more uh, careful about exclusivity as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think emotional connection, there, that is definitely like, I mean like when I meet them up, it's not like, oh, I'm just a wall and you know, I'm just going to talk to you about the weather and mm. that's all kind of thing. But um, yeah, I, I think like similar to you, I will also ask them about, you know, certain things about maybe how they're doing their job, their family and then ask yeah. them a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but I think, okay, I think for me, right, uh, why no emotional connection was because I realised growing up, that was the exact thing that made me like guys very easily. Okay. So, okay, so um, at the start, okay, so also con- a bit of context about me, right, is I came from a girl's school, girl's secondary uh, school. Yeah, so yeah. it's not um, common, right, to have, to be surrounded by guys yeah, growing yeah, yeah. up. Because of that, right, I felt that when uh, there is, there are certain guys uh, in my life, but then that time not a lot of guys also. So it's like, if there's like one or two, right, that um, are sort of like within proximity that I can just hang out with, it always starts out with like just you know, complaining about school, la, you know, talk about like yes, your homework, yes. how stressful things are, or at home, you know, your parents very naggy. Um, I think it, when it like uh, continues like day on day, well, last time very good, eh? like uh, that time don't have uh, wow, Wi Fi, so your phone also <laughs> is like your me- every message, you know, need to like pay one yes. after and a got certain limited limit. characters. Correct, yeah. correct. So, like, I, I feel like when uh, there were one or two guys la, back then that uh, yeah, like actually message every day. Then I'll think like, eh, how come like he's willing to spend that kind of money, you know, like like to, to, to message me or to call me and do, do all those like marathon. Winning. Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, these kind of things uh, then build the emotional, not just connection, but I started to depend on them yeah, for my yeah, emotional yeah. happiness. Uh, yeah, so I think through that, I realized that, oh, you know, maybe that's like a sort of like danger, like gray zone, mm. which that's why I'm a bit more careful of um, now when mm. I'm a bit older and hopefully wiser. Mm. Mm. So with those guy friends previously, when you guys get emotionally closer, it usually leads to something romantic? Uh, no, la, I think uh, not, not every guy will like me. La. <laughs> <laughs> but on your end, eh, like you will find yourself liking them. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I think I will definitely have a bit of thoughts about, oh, maybe could it be possible? Mm. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so I share with you a story, right? So in, uh, I mean, everything starts out as really pure platonic, like it's just, there's zero romantic uh, In attraction. your case lah. Mm. In my case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, I remember in uni, last time was Skype, like <laughs> that, that kind, right? So uh, we would, like a group of our, our friends, right? We will always like hang together on online and chong assignments, right? And then like um, in uni, people sleep very late, right? So there are yeah. people that sleep or there's a 12 a.m. gang that have the 1 a.m., then 3 a.m., 4 a.m., blah, blah. So I belong to like, yeah, the, the, the 3 a.m. kind and the mm. list of people will just like get smaller and smaller. So mm. in the end, right, I, after like maybe two, two months, um, mm. like I just happened to talk to this guy all the time. Yeah, so mm. I mean, when we talk, right, it's really just a, uh, like random stuff but after that we started to share a bit deeper la, because I mean you're everyday ma, then you yeah. confirm yeah, more comfortable yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think that kind of like I don't know I don't know what happened I think this kind of thing also kind of like creeps up on you sometimes where you don't realise it then one day I just like oh like I found myself actually looking forward um, to 3am like just <laughs> wait for everybody to like leave you know that's the Skype well, group or it. what and then like I don't know then when the person come online right, then I feel Happy. like happy eh? and I was like oh my god what happened to me oh my gosh yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, and I think after that it's just like the very like limbo state where 
because like you know you don't want to like make the friendship awkward then like yes, I just yes. like keep everything in, in like within and I also never really share with like my girlfriends because we're all one group then don't want to make the whole very dynamic weird, awkward uh. right yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I like kept it in for like very very long I also no guts to like talk about it la, at that time so yeah so I've been through like a few of these kind of like episodes that made me realise that hmm yeah, if like, let's say I'm not ready to pursue anything mm. more than just friendship, right? Then like, I will try not to like, get too emotionally like, dependent on like, one, like just one guy. Mm. So to you, right, in in the sense of a trajectory, because I mean, when we talk about the idea of whether like platonic opposite gender friendships are possible, it means that in a trajectory it's possible for it to never end up uh, a romantic relationship, right? That's that's what we're saying, right? So for you, mm. you feel that on that trajectory, it will always lead to something romantic? I feel that... I guess it depends on like what you are considering in a romantic relationship, like what's important to you. Yeah, because mm. for me, I think uh, maybe growing up, like I... I won't say I'm very emotionally guarded, but I feel that I don't really need to, you know, like share my thoughts and feelings with everyone mm. just you know like a few friends who you know like I, I see every day so I feel like if a guy actually gets into that mm. that that you know uh, that proximity right yeah like I think it would sway a bit for, mm. for me because emotional connection is important to me because there's trust there's you know um, there's, there's consistency right. and loyalty la, in a sense so Whoa, it might true, it actually. might not, not every guy la. I mean there must be certain level of Attraction, like attraction yeah, yeah, in yeah. a sense at, at the yeah at, at, at the beginning or, mm. or what so yeah wow yeah we okay. share yeah yeah we share as a guy what do you as think as a guy what or like in your experience yeah, you know a lot then oh, when okay. I when yeah, I was you so, mm, what <laughs> I say what I say right it's really hard right okay it's because like like I said just now like because platonic or female friendship you need to have certain amount of closeness uh. right and then sometimes you have to share some emotional things because it's some you know these are things that brings you together if not I would have shared to a guy right, right if I can feel very emotionally bonded through mobile legends right okay then and then and then you and can't then, the only emotion you, you feel you is can't. anger is it <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's actually kind of true like, like anger you know and then okay so 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 this whole emotional part right, okay so so basically why I feel that it's really hard right is because uh, um, I got my first female friend close friend when, it's like, when I was in secondary school so it's like a really pure oh, kind of era, you know, like. So we're very close, we talk every day, yeah, we discord, all these things, we camp and stuff. And sometimes we will take bus to school together also, right? Mm. And then uh, actually, then then after that, sometimes after school, right, we will actually, uh, I will actually head to a house. House, the staircase there. Dude! <laughs> we were, we were, no, no, it's no, it's totally not the kind of thing. Why everything you, you say sounds so dodgy? I no, no, no. must have like that no, boss. It's really, it's really not the kind. Okay, back then, right? Back then, all the stories that you guys see on Ashley Follows All or Mothership, right? Okay? It doesn't it's happen during him. that time. It, it, it didn't happen. It was pure and, 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 and really innocent and stuff. Because so, what? Y'all see at the staircase and play serious paper stone? No, we talk. We we, we we just mm. talk we don't play the stone. Okay. So 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 we talk right and, and it was really uh not like it was just okay because the dad right like doesn't was it's very strict on her like cannot see any guys with her and stuff and you know so so then like you all go to her house? No like the, the staircase. Staircase, staircase, yeah. staircase yeah. where the dad can walk up. No, it's just the second one. So the oh. leaf is here, so we, we go one go one stairs. Oh, so you go to one corner when <laughs> nobody can <laughs> see us. You. You're, you're not setting yourself up, right? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, okay. so okay, continue, yeah. So it's very pure. Yeah, it was very pure and stuff. So we talk and stuff, like, okay. So 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 it was all good and stuff, okay. And then mm. like uh, okay, so the context is that, right? Um not long before, right, uh I eh, uh not long before I know her, she already got into a relationship. But then right when during that season, right, when she and her boyfriend, right, actually like got a bit um problems and all some issues going on and they'll crawl so she was just sharing to me right then during that season right like it was like okay and then she shared a lot to me and then she was crying to me and and, and all these things then that's when i i feel um something in my heart because she shared like a lot of her her like very emotional burdens in her heart mm. about how she felt about relationship so after that i feel quite clean for her la, like quite pitiful la, like oh mm. like hey, how come you know like you're my best friend and then it's, it's so sad to see mm. you go through all these things so i think yeah. there's some bit of emotional um 
entanglement that, that we had already. Yeah, okay, yeah. so after that, right, okay, it was until that time whereby I think they have a huge quarrel and they were taking a break. And like usually, you know, like relationship when people say take break, right, you, you don't know. And some people will yeah. say think it as breakup. Some people will just feel that, oh, just a yeah, break. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. get together it's with like other people. Pause, uh. Correct. Yeah. So, so yeah. at that point of time, right, it was very weird because we, because after she shared to me about some stuff, right, so she thanked me that all for being there. And then like it was at that staircase, right, that she hugged me, you know. Nothing good yeah. happens at the staircase. So, so, no, it was just it was just very innocent. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, so how do you so feel at that moment? Oh, definitely lah, guys. Right. I think <laughs> and we are quite sensitive to touch one. Right. Wow. When she like that, it's like hmm, electricity. <laughs> 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 you know, it doesn't feel good. Ah, come on, the guys don't lie. Ah, right. You know. Like, oh, you got you got her, her back. What, ha, ha, you got yeah, he like that man. Of course, he had her back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I really did that. Ha ha ha! Pay our way. But it's a Korean drama reverse. No, but the subsequent Dude. we did lah, right? I mean, we also oh, you had more than once, ah. So you go staircase yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, continue your story. Mm. I, it's it's very shady, but 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 it's really like yeah. I mean, I mm. mean, if if my so friends. So th- at that moment when she hugged you, that was where you suddenly realized that you may like her. Yeah, and actually after that whole incident started, right, mm. and that's when we start to like do some like um actions, right, that usually couples would do. For example, like or oh, lying on the shoulder, that kind of thing, mm. or like like that kind of thing. But it's very ambiguous because we never said we like one another. No before. label lah. Correct. Yeah, oh, because we had yeah. a conversation last time and we think like oh we won't really like one another. So I think that one that time was really very like so that that season was quite weird lah. So it lasted for around two three months. Mm. And after that, she eventually got back to the boyfriend. So like oh, oh, because of some reasons lah. Like, Do you know sure, so. that? The, if the boyfriend was upset I think right That he was a bit Because she did mention to me That oh like oh, uh, The boyfriend feel That we are too close And that kind mm. of thing So mm. okay But previously I don't think It's the it's the problem Yeah. So I think after that right I was quite sad lah And I was thinking like Eh you know how come like uh, Then I was thinking to myself Eh maybe actually A platonic friendship like Don't really really Exist in that sense Yeah because it's very very confusing I think that was actually one of my learnings when I was thinking about my friendships because I, like I said, right, I had a lot of close guy friendships mm. um, growing up and there were a few la, that ended up in a bit of a weird place where I felt maybe they're interested in mm. me mm. or maybe they have some feelings for me but actually I don't really feel anything for them. Yeah. Um, then that's where I realised, right, that maybe it's because in my friendship with them, I listen more than I share. So actually I, and, and I'm generally like that in my friendships, not just yeah. with guys, but I'm very, very okay with just like, hearing you out and I'm sincerely interested I will want to find out more so I'll ask questions also lor. but I think maybe that gives the wrong idea sometimes because I, know, I ask should. questions right as a guy yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ha, but I'm sincerely interested in you as a person ma. So like, but now it feels like we guys are like some needy creatures <laughs> than girls, you know but it's true you know because I think as guys I think I shared just now like we need someone to confide in so hmm. we usually confide to female friends yeah la. I think this is a cycle that comes from because even for myself right, there are a lot of times where I mistook quite a number of girls and I thought that they were interested in me just oh. because they asked you questions it. yeah and then just because like how they share concern and care so but I realised that actually right it is quite common among girls to even like female female right they will tend to like share a lot of concern yeah 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 like, uh, we're yes. like that with our yeah. girlfriends la. so so that's and then we'll, we'll check up on each other yeah. a few days later oh. correct <laughs> oh shucks when we do <laughs> that for guys then they will think that we are interested yeah, like them. No, because we find a hey, very sweet. Like, hey, this person care for us and that kind of thing. I care for know. everybody. You're not Guys gotta do better so to your like, guy friends, like man. That. That's <laughs> a problem when like a girl then becomes close friends with a guy and a girl really feels like that platonic affection mm. for yeah. him, right? Then she will relate to him in, in, the, in what in she knows way. friendship to be, la, which is that but kind then of emotional affection. for the guy affection. receiving. Correct. Which, if, if he has never had this kind exactly, of friendship exactly. before, then confirm yeah. he will think that oh like it's different it's exactly. special and I don't think it's guys fault but I think mm. then we just need to be aware la, that the opposite right, gender right. is used to different kinds yeah. of interactions and in the way we put ourselves forward what our intentions are must match what is being received la. Mm. and if ever there is a mismatch then perhaps we should consider whether we would like to adjust ourselves for the other person's sake Yes, it's yeah. true. So what you think is okay for you may not be okay for the other person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it really uh, like reflects very well with the survey um, results that you found just now that uh. guys are more easily uh, attracted, attracted la, to, to their gr- female friends. Female friends than yeah. female friends are actually to guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think so that's that's quite uh, insightful. I mean, it's something that yes, yes. I would wanna like I I didn't know before, and now I know. So mm. I I would know then how to I guess have conversations as well, open conversations mm. with my guy friends. Mm. Like if there's anything and not just like keep things ambiguous. Yeah. I don't know, I find like we when we say- open conversations, 
no, okay, like awkward. not in like all the time lah. But if let's say we feel that, uh, I feel that all oh, something's a bit off or what, then really are uh, you will ask uh? Um. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So I like. Okay. Last time, right. Uh. I. So one of my very good friends. Uh. Like who's a guy. Like uh. Like I have zero like romantic attraction to him. But you know we like like the same music uh. and like oh. got same vibe. Then like to like yeah just chill. Yes. We we don't really like meet up one on one. But um I think maybe after that we work in the same company for a while right so he was interning lah so uh, it was like his last week or something and then uh, in that week right we had like a group like creative presentation where each of mm. us was supposed to like share like what does hope mean to us okay mm. so it's an individual presentation so there was like a group of us maybe 10 people in the room mm. and we all take turns right then <laughs> after that right um he like his present like his answer right his presentation to the like what hope means to me right was basically like my name like Oh my so he God. spelled out my name in the acronyms, okay? And then after that, right? What? <laughs> so in a room for like people who like I don't know whether know him and, like, very your well or know him very also. well. Yeah, like my boss <laughs> and my boss's boss was there. <laughs> and uh, so like um he asked me to like go to the center of the room, right? And then after that, so he asked me to sit on a chair. I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Is he gonna pour water on me or something? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. That's like a uh, nature of friendship. We like very trash and stuff, right? But then like he went to take like this like shoe box. So inside is like new shoes. Then he like <laughs> kneel down <laughs> in front of me and like say, oh, like these are you like, mean, like the proposal shoes. kind of kneel down. Like okay, Why honestly, me? I don't know what was going on. The whole room was silent. <laughs> Like as in no oh like gosh like maybe two people clap but they don't know what they clap for. Does he like you? Really confused. Okay, so like I don't know. Then I think to myself like, oh my god, did I unintentionally lead him? Only I started to, to think like, when was the last time we met one on one? When was the last time I had like an emo conversation with him? Don't have it. Then I like the oh my god, if he really like me, then how? You know like so all these things were going through my head and I think like like maybe not just me lah but maybe everybody just wanted to like leave the room or something so um i think at the end of the the that that time right the meeting um i was like oh my gosh i think i need to talk to him but i very scared because i never have this kind of uh conversation before so but i think awkward. i don't know yeah then like then i was also afraid lah that um if we, he really like me right it'd be so hurtful like i he hurt is it or oh, I hurt as in like he will be so hurt oh yeah as in like I still don't know like how yeah. to how to position pre- yourself uh, yeah I don't you know ask. what question to because ask because he's yeah. not until this level already eh. <laughs> oh my god yeah so uh, because I was I just genuinely see him as a friend <laughs> and I know that like we never meet up one on one I couldn't even remember the last time we met one on one you know so okay. um I just like, very confused lah. So okay, then I'll just yes. go in, and then I'll just I won't ask him like the hey, you like me like, you know, like kind of thing. But I'll just ask like oh what was that about lah? You know like just keep it open a bit. Yeah. So uh, but I was afraid to have that conversation because I wasn't sure if it would affect the friendship yeah, moving forward. Yeah, of course. Right. Like like the, oh my god, is it not platonic anymore? What did I do wrong? Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So but in the end, like um, I did like go up to him and like I didn't even say anything. I just go and say hey, never. He say like. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. No, like, no, no, no. I like someone else. I like someone else. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. And then from there, I realized, oh, he like another girl. Oh. Okay, that, that's that's how, like, not that close we are. Like, I didn't even know he got oh crushed, gosh. you know? So I was like, oh, okay. So, okay, very cool. But I think I was genuinely, like, happy that um I was able to not keep things ambiguous. Because I think the very, and, and with a guy, right, you can just laugh it off, you can just ignore, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you never know, you know, like, how yeah. that person feels or how I might feel next time also. So I was just really glad, like, that. I could clear it up. I'm still very confused why he did that. <laughs> and then that was when he realized that what he thought was okay was not okay to me or to the 10 other poor like colleagues. <laughs> we yeah. just the whole thing in the room. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it's a joke now. Like, it's very funny. So like he actually told his epic, uh. girlfriend about it. Then he also, she also laughed. Like, she's like, oh what are you doing, God. bro? <laughs> That's a small brain moment. <laughs> Small brain mo- okay, yeah, la, but actually, very cute. We are still friends. We are still actually, friends. I got this like open conversation thing as well. Okay, so so this is very funny because this story right is like okay. So last time I got used Facebook for a while, just for a while, you know, Facebook. So, You're so young, uh, You only use for a while. <laughs> I use until now, <laughs> so eh. For a while. Yeah. <laughs> it exists. 
Yeah. Okay, haven't closed. It's my new source now. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, juicy, ju- juicy story. So, Ooh. so wow, you know, I cannot imagine this kind of thing happening in my life. So basically, right, it was just like one night, where I was just happy uh, playing my. You know, last time Facebook got this game called like Restaurant City or something. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. dish out sushi. So it's very fun. <laughs> then after, I was just playing that, and then suddenly I got a pop up from a messenger, right? Facebook mm-hmm. messenger, and then it was like, hey, dude, you got to check this out. Someone confessed to you on Facebook. So it's I was a like, spam, is it? No, it's really scam, my scam. friend. It's really my friend. So I got a few friends suddenly text me, you know. And I'm just thinking like, it's so weird. So I go and check it out, right? Then after that, right, okay, basically, right, this uh, female friend um, that I'm very close to, quite close to, you know, like I have, like, we, sh- we, we talk about a lot of stuff and all, so, okay, but we never go staircase or what, okay? <laughs> like, 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 you've learned. Like, I, yeah, I've passed that phase already, you know. So, so we, so we are just close, la. No, la. So we are just, <laughs> like, we are meet, like, and eat and stuff, but, it's not even that frequent also, right? Yeah, yeah. So so after that, right, she actually wrote on her Facebook and that time K-pop was like so famous. So everybody had to So they always had to put they always had to put the, the Korean characters on their name or whatever, right? So actually she, she actually posted a thing on her wall, you know, like a string of things, right? So after that my friend actually go and translate it. And then the whole content is like that, I keep you not, okay? It's like um Tang Shen, you stupid pig, don't you know that I like you? Then I was like like, hey, the sun must go in the Nani? shot, Sam. No. You be shit, like, you stupid yeah, pig. Like, yeah, then I was like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just playing restaurant city. And, and, I, I, I really, and I still remember, I went you to call You built a restaurant for her. No, I you never. Your she life. wish you so built a restaurant for her. So after that, I went to recall back. I was like, woman, like, we three days, right? Don't even meet already, you know? What have I done anything to you, you know, that cause cause you to say that? So at first when my friend sent me, I still don't believe, you know, I can translate myself. <laughs> and I saw it on Google Translate. My whole life stopped at that moment. <laughs> so it was so awkward because we were in the same church and then like I have to see her uh one day later during oh, service. No. During oh. Saturday service. I was like thinking like Zombopan. Did she know that you you saw the translation and you know what it actually means? Honestly, yet? right. If she dare to put on the thing, right? Yeah, it's she meant want for you to chase me, right? for you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she scold me already, right? right. Cannot yeah, be, no. right? So after that, right, uh, actually, I was thinking, yeah, I should, should, should I have an open conversation with her? So mm. I thought that, no, I just pretend I never see her. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she don't know that, that I see her so right? Then after that, along the way, I felt that we were very awkward. Mm. And then after that, uh, even though she still talk to me normally, but I feel like the things that she do, right, she's like more careful now. Like she will purposely like find a lot of ways to like uh, buy me gifts and all these things. So I feel like, 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 because I think, okay, I feel that she felt that I know and I didn't say anything means, right, I'm um, okay. okay with it. Yeah, means mm. I, I kind of like her or, or, or whatever. Lah. I mean, um, yeah, so after she that- She is very open to interpretation. It's right. like, you could also mean that I'm not interested. So you don't know until- But yeah, if you want right. to take your shot, you yes. just assume yeah. he like you better. Uh, true, true, true. And I was thinking yeah. to myself, like, like, like honestly, like, if I'm her, right, would I want to feel that way as well? Like, is it right for me to like, mm. you know, like, um, like give, like, I mean, I mean, it's open into interpretation. They, she cannot blame me to for interpreting that or like, oh, we just want to take things uh, easy. We don't want to confront about it. Yeah. yeah. So I think after that, in the end, I still choose to confront because I felt like it's getting a bit uncomfortable in the sense that I, I feel like I don't want to somehow through her open interpretation, you know, like I kind of like uh, lead her on and kind of thing. So we had open conversation about it. Mm. And then we actually uh, talk it out and stuff wow. and uh, uh, asking to her. La. So she was quite okay. She said, mm, okay, mm. Like, she understand. Well, I really appreciate that y'all can do that because mm. I think I'm uh, quite like anti-confrontational. So like, I will just act blur and live longer. <laughs> like really, like I just pretend that like- Wait for the other person. La. If the person really got problem, then the person will come to you kind of thing. La. No, so like, I mean, okay, I, I think I am quite intuitive, so- Usually I will guess la, or I will sense that like the person seems to be interested or seems to be extra nice to me. Mm. But I will try to just subtly hint that I am not interested um, or that I only see him as a friend and I don't dare one to open uh, up this conversation. So you are those kind that practice preventive health care. Yes. 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 So even before it happens, right, you kind of oh I sense it. Really. Exactly. So I, I put a Then you like yeah. cut back. Uh. Yeah, or I'll keep saying, oh, Bro. thanks, I, I appreciate our friendship. friendship. <laughs> I like, <laughs> like, so happy that you're my friend. That's so sad. Eh? One of the reasons why I don't confront it, right, is because sometimes I wonder whether I'm being presumptuous. He also never say he like me. It's just, I think he like me, ma. Like, then, then Pai say, you know, if I say like, eh, hey, actually, I only see you as a friend. Then he like, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, am I being too presumptuous if I come up to him? Like, how would y'all manage a situation like that if like, Actually, the person never confessed, what? You just suspect, ah? 
for me, it's just when they confess, uh, then, then I will say that. If but that's not, clear, I right? I won't presume. Eh. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, so if she o- always confront. like send you bubble tea, want to study with you, uh, could they ask you what you're doing? Oh, this one doesn't warrant a confrontation then. This one would warrant like what you do like when you say, oh, you know, I, I really enjoy this friendship, you know. Okay, I have girls, oh. right, who know that I'm interested in them but they mm. don't really like me. So, I mean, even though it's sad, but I'm very thankful for these girls, right, who will always clear. take my phone, right, and then, you know, under their... Okay, because that time, we, secondary school, we like to play, like, or even poly, we like to play family tree, right? Like, you are gone, you are my you're my sister and my brother. What's this yeah. family tree? I've never played that before. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> but okay. Okay, so we are that kind of thing. Okay. So it's not even, like, friend zone, it's like family tree zoned. Um, it's like <laughs> kind of like, oh that's even more sad right? that's Sorry. true that's true okay so okay. So, yeah. so after that right they will take my okay so we'll write the contact like 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 all I see is bro all these things so, okay. so <laughs> she can take my phone and, and write the thing you know oh so that's how um yes, you get a hint that's how I get a hint it's like hey you are my you're my brother that that's I treasure nice. a lot like, mm. like, like, like like you know like can okay, like, yeah. Yeah, so, that's kind of what I did la. yeah so yeah mm. so that's what you did so, but, but I thought that's quite thoughtful like, at least I don't keep thinking about it or like okay. at least I, I don't keep second guessing whether you like me or not and then I keep doing a lot of things for you then at the end of the day actually I'll get hurt even more yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, until yeah. the person actually confess you you will not confront uh. yeah yeah so we'll do all the small little actions uh. mm. do you feel girl to guy is different because I understand maybe guy to girl you want to be more thoughtful and considerate la. don't want to hurt the girl right I'm assuming to n- that's why you don't have the conversations or like don't but more of like it's quite so yeah. Yeah. it's quite pricey if the person really don't like you eh. right if right. you just assume and actually yeah. you just think very highly of yourself yeah. but nobody likes you and then, and then the girl will be thinking like who do you think you are you know? yeah. like it's not like yeah, some like so or something. it's true <laughs> um, I think maybe my personal yeah like litmus test is if let's say let's say if a guy is you know being very considerate to me and I'm not sure whether it's like what his intentions are behind it. Like let's say if let's say he every day okay not every day lah like said like randomly like give me bubble right, tea right, mm. right. or like when I sick then like he like order grab food to my house right. and stuff like that right. Like I will first see whether it's something that he will actually do for like all his other friends. Yeah, mm. but if like feel like it's not right then um, I will see whether in the short run right if these actions continue whether actually I will be affected. And if I know that it it's not a place where I want to be in terms of like um, you know, wondering whether he liked me or, or all the kind of things, then I might uh I might have a conversation with him now to ask like, hey, like when you do this, right? Do you like do this with like uh do you give your friends <gasps> really? like uh food also and those kind of stuff? Oh. I like just check ah, you know. Yeah, yeah, test water a bit. Oh so I actually God. don't. Why? I totally understand already. Okay, cause uh, <laughs> no, you like got flashback, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, no, cause during COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I suddenly remember there's this uh, female friend that uh, okay, we are not very close to, but it's like um okay because in church like we have like leaders and so so I'm so I'm actually her 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 leader. So during mm. COVID, I send I to, like to bless lah. She's not sick or whatever. So I send like pastries and all these things. Yeah, like to the person. So the person suddenly text me and say, oh, can I check why you send me these things? Wow. So wow. so I was like. Eh, to, to, she to goes you, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. You know, but it kind of reminded me that eh, actually, like I think at the point she she just checking the intentions. So I just sharing. Yeah, that, oh, that actually, time I, I, I not I not like emotionally invested yet. I just like want to check a bit. Yeah, so mm. I might ask. So not directly ask like the eh, mm. like what are you doing that kind. But it's more like the oh, eh, this is so nice of you. Like like do you do this also like for your other friends? Actually, like, right, this is quite refreshing for me because I realized that maybe I make it more complicated than it has to be in my head. Like, cause I, I think I am afraid of rocking the boat and making mm. the relationship awkward after mm. this conversation is had. So I just avoid it and mm. and kind of like hope it resolves itself. But actually from the way you're saying, even this encounter that you had during COVID, right? I realize actually it's quite simple, ma. Yes. There's no connotation to, hey, why you right. send me food? <laughs> yes. You know, so actually maybe yeah. it's as simple as that sometimes lah, when we want to clarify some things. And in a case where maybe we suspect but the person never really confessed yet, then just try to slide in some hints mm-hmm. to make your intentions clear yeah. lah, so you don't unnecessarily lead people Correct. on. If we were to round up this episode by sharing what is maybe one key learning and advice you have to people, mm. right, who are figuring this question out, what would you say? I guess... I think it's a reminder for myself also to not just be super close off and guarded from like an op- like you know your, the opposite gender mm. just cause you're afraid that you know things may go south or you may easily like you know the person 
Yeah, but I think it's good that, you know, in our 20s and uh, beyond also that we we seek out good friendships and mm. it doesn't necessarily have to be like one gender only. Yeah, mm. uh, but at the same time, I think as we open our heart, right, I think that is also, is there's also that need to uh, be firstly uh, real to yourself, like know where are your uh, maybe points where you might just, mm. you know, move the needle. So for me, it's emotional depth and connection right mm. yeah and at the same time to not assume the other part, part whatever you're okay with the other party is okay as yeah. well yeah yeah that's good I, 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 I agree some point of it mm. in the sense that I really feel like I think I've seen my friends before like I have friends who are like me or so we are much more closer to female friends because we can relate more emotionally mm. but sometimes they are starting their cycle you, you see is that whenever they're close to a girl right then they'll kind of get a bit romantically involved and yeah. that kind of thing and after that they will soon after they will start to break up because they realise that actually like uh, they already knew that it was not their type or like it's not their criteria but their feelings become very in the like the feelings become like uh, override their rationality and then so they go for it that kind of thing so I see that in my life kind of mm. also and sometimes it's very sad because that female friend right is someone that you can really share with and it's such a waste you know like this friendship started off good and then at the end of the day you know because of some ambiguity then it, it slides off so mm. I realised right that for me right at least right is that the whole thing about having uh, good boundaries right that you know we, uh, I don't go on talking very intimate like conversation or this deep conversation to allow one another have mm. this emotional entanglement which start to make your logical thing kind of uh, like we, we start to mix you kind of irrational because you mm. feel a lot but actually you know deep inside you know like the character or like you know it's like certain aligned, yeah though. it's like the behavior all these things is like the things that she likes and you like she's quite different but when you try to force it together right it just cannot match it's like a puzzle you keep wanting to put the wrong piece at the wrong place you know like it just doesn't mix, match and then at the end of the day just ruin the, 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 the whole puzzle or ruin the whole friendship so I think oh my whole lesson is basically this thing so that's why when I grow up right I, 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 I stop going to staircases <laughs> I go to hawker <laughs> centers, right? More I start to places. yeah, not to uh. be exclusive, yeah. So I think that's yeah. when it really helps, you know, that I t- now have more like like I like I now have much more healthier like uh, close female friends mm. that it has been like for five years and ten years of friendship that, wow. that, that that kind of thing. And it's true that you know when I share to them very like uh like things and stuff they can relate and sometimes they can process with me better than some of my guys' friends, mm. you know. So they kind of like become a very close friend, but we won't develop any things or make the friendship very awkward because yeah. of the boundaries Correct. that you. Yeah. So I have a good mix of guy and female friends, you know, and 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 such um. Friendship in my life have, has been very fulfilling that mm. like I really, really appreciate. Wow, mm. I really like that. How about I, you? Yeah, I think for me, um, I, I'm sure that there are, like for me at least, there are many lessons like, and many reflections, but I think maybe one thing that I would say is respect and consideration mm. for the other party mm. in the sense that I think I don't want to go into the friendship and just think of what I can draw from the yeah. friendship in terms of like what is fulfilling for me, what is... Mm. Um, fun what is that kind of emotional support or the friendship that I would like to have but actually I want to respect them and consider what is beneficial for them Mm. in the sense that if let's say let's say if I were single right and um, I know that I have no intention of pursuing anything with this particular guy friend because perhaps on certain things we are not aligned Mm. or he not he isn't really the the kind of person that I'm looking for then I would want to respect him enough right such that I don't put him in a compromising position and I don't put him in a place where he's confused about my intentions he's confused about my interactions towards him Mm. and if he's attached and if I'm attached then I would like to be respectful to everybody in the situation his partner my partner not jeopardizing what he has Mm. in his life not even putting us in a position where we end up having to consider like eh are we are we weird or like Mm. are are we something you know so I would say perhaps just looking beyond yourself and like fulfilling your own needs to consider that these are real people um, yeah. that our interactions and our actions have an impact on and to consider whether what we do really is the most beneficial for these people who we supposedly love and care for. La. So true. Yeah. So yeah. true. Yes. And I think if we can really do that right, as female and male, right, hey, then that's when all, we won't even have a debate about platonic friendship, right? Whether because, it's like yeah, impossible. Because we really consider about one another. Mm. I actually feel that if we are able to 
do it well and in a respectful way, right? There is a lot of thing. There are a lot of things to draw from opposite gender friendships because yeah. we're quite different, yes. Like I, I truly enjoy my guy friends a lot, right? For sometimes the simplicity mm. that they bring. It's mm. just like we just have stupid fun, right. We laugh about stupid things and do stupid things. Share memes. Yeah, yeah. Share memes Talk and trash, this kind of like things yeah. are very simple. I feel yeah. Yeah. not that with girls things are very very like complicated and difficult, but just I think with dynamic, girls, right? yes. yeah, there is the that depth of emotional connection yeah. that we get to draw upon. Um, and so it's just different, but but there are good things in both. And if we okay. can see that and mm. we can appreciate friendship and not have to make everything like romantic mm. and like confusing, right? Actually, then there's a lot lah, that we all can draw and benefit from. So true. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed today's conversation. I think I had a very good time Me laughing too. at Wei Shen's stories. <laughs> Wei Shen's a very good guy, okay? Even though he used to like see a staircase, actually now he he not dodgy, not suspicious. Very good guy. Even, it's, it, it wasn't even dodgy to be <laughs> Debatable. It was pure. Single and available. Not sure whether ready to mingle, but we all can <laughs> kick him up. But yeah, thank you for joining us for today's episode. We hope that you guys have a fantastic time yes. just listening to these things. I'm sure that these are topics, right, that people think about and, and wonder about all the time. Even mm. in our discussions, like around our studio, right, there were people who stopped by and joined in yeah. our conversation. We had an audience of five. Yeah, like now. they were so like excited, right? Because mm. a topic like that is just ageless, la, I yes. feel. Yeah. So we hope that this was something that you enjoy. If you have any thoughts on platonic opposite gender friendships, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And remember that we have started our Telegram channel, so feel Whoa. free to join that and you can tune in for more episodes. You can find us at ngl.people on TikTok, Instagram. You can find our episodes on YouTube. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and we are so happy to just always have you join us. So once again, if you like our content, you can like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye-bye!